Hi guys, so I am back with part two of my um of the mini album tutorial and I started working on it thinking that I was recording but I wasn't. My camera is actually the phone is I mean the battery is actually dead, so I'm gonna record this really quick with my um with my phone. As you can see, I have already done I've already started and so I'm going to tell you what I've done. First off, before I started, I picked up my papers. And so these are the, I decided to do the soda pop page because I want to put some beer bottle caps on it. And I picked out this yellow. Sorry, it's so dark in here. Just a second. Okay, so that's a little better, but um, I decided that I wanted to use this paper. Um and um, I wanted some colors to go with it so these are the colors that I decided to go that I decided those look good together and so those are the colors I'm going to use uh, first what I did was I went through and I put um, magnets on my pages now the magnets that I'm using are these they are the small magnets they are really thin and they're really strong and so what I did was I put a magnet approximately here and on the back. And then I used washers instead of magnets. Um, somebody told me that trick. Tammy Merrill actually told me the trick. She got it from someone else. I can't remember who. So um, these are the little um, washers that I used. And they work really well to hold it together so I won't have to use as many magnets so um, pretty much what I've done to this page is I, t I measured my page you know I already have my measurements written down, written, down, written down and so what I did was I went ahead and took the sheet of paper and I distressed my edges with my scissors because I don't have a, a page distressor and then I use just a sponge and I go ahead and ink the pages and I took that corner and I ripped it a little bit and I um, glued down the sides just a little flap so they wouldn't stick up too much now when I decided to glue my page down let's see I don't have another thing so I'm just going to use this card what I did was the little tag that I have here. I actually laid the tag down on the page and I glued above it and below it and just in this corner in the back to leave um, the pocket for my tag. So that fits in there pretty snugly. It's not wet. And that's how I made that pocket. Now I took some sh some strips of this paper. And as you see, I've already distressed it. I'm about to ink it. I distressed and I inked, and I just laid it down in strips. And just I don't even know what size they are. I just got some random strips. And what I'm about to do is I'm about to ink this, and I'm gonna make my pocket. I can't do it holding my phone, but this strip right here, I'm gonna ink it. And that's going to make my um, the top of my pocket. And then once I get that down, this strip of the soda pop page is actually going to lay across it. And I will get that done and I will come back. Now this one right here, this yellow, it's pretty yellow. I'm going to put it across here to give it that pop of color on the front. I don't want to put too many embellies on this because it is a masculine album, but I've also cut out some beer. And I thought that the beer would go good with that, but I'm not sure. I will see how it looks in a second when I start putting it together. And I will get back with you guys um, when I finish with this. Okay, y'all. I am back in... Um, I am about to make a pocket on the back of this and so I'm going to try to do it one handed because I just wanted to show you guys how I glue to make um, 
some of my pockets. It just depends on what I'm doing. I switch up every once in a while. Sometimes I'll make the flaps, but um, uh, most of the time I'll just try to glue really close to the corners. When I measure the tag that's going to go inside of it, I just make sure that it has enough room. Um, that one's going to be a little close, but anyway. And so, ooh, yeah, I'm going to have to pause this. <laughs> Okay, so that was almost a disaster. But what I try to do when I put it down, excuse all the ink on my hand, is I try to leave a little give, a little space underneath when I um when I glue my edges down. And once it dries a little bit, what I'm gonna go through is um, I'm gonna go through probably with my bone folder and just wiggle on the edge of that glue just a little bit, you know. To make sure that it's open and I'm going to stick a tag in there. I don't want to put it in now because it's going to um, stick. But I'll just make a little a little wiggle room and I can actually finish putting, decorating my little tag before, um, before it goes into the pocket. And so, so far we have, this part is decorated. I wish it wasn't so dark in my house, y'all. It's and this is with the flesh and it's still really dark. Okay, so it's decorated with pretty yellow. Oh my god, this is the worst video I've ever made. Okay, I opened the blinds to see if I can let in a little bit more light so you can see a little bit better. But this um paper is actually from a different mm -mm, it's not working. A different paper collection. But I thought it went well with um some of the yellows in here. And of course, see my magnet actually works really well. I need to ink that. I think my magnet I had some score tape on it. It might have gotten um stuck. But uh I'll ink that in so it can look good. I decided to use the the B side of that brown paper that I was using instead of the front. And I I like the front, I like the B side better than the a side and so um, I'm going to eventually glue these edges down to make a pocket and I have not started on the insides yet and so I actually make this stuff up as I go <laughs> and so this is how far I've gotten I didn't want to get too far behind and like I said I have some bottle caps let me walk across. This is my crafty corner. As you can see, I can't work at it because it's not organized. Here they are. Well, I actually have some more beer bottle tops like this. And I plan on placing them. I know I want one right here. And I plan on placing them. I know on there. I think I have two. I think I have two or three more that I want to decorate with. So that's gonna be. That's how that page is going to look. And so I think that's it for right now. Okay, guys. So what I decided is I'm going to make this a part 2A. I will come back with a part 2B to finish um, this whole page and show you guys what I'm doing. I got to um, get my camera charged up and everything. Sorry, it's so disjointed, but we'll, we'll get there. Bye.